In this video, we can discuss about production of glutamic acid by fermentation process. This is an important topic from Unit 5 of Pharmaceutical Biotechnology of 6th semester B Pharm. Unit 5 will anch product in the fermentation process in a Kurishan penicillin, glutamic acid, citric acid, vitamin B12, and glucosamine. This is the first What are the different steps of fermentation process and application or uses of glutamic acid? Let's start with an introduction to the glutamic acid. So, glutamic acid is an amino acid, which is the first amino acid to be produced by a microorganism like corny bacterium glutamic. Chemically, this glutamic acid is 2 amino pentene dioic acid. Now, what is the importance of glutamic acid? It is mainly used in the production of monosodium glutamate, which is commonly known as a seasoning salt, and also monosodium glutamate is a condiment and flavor enhancing agent, which is commonly used in convenient foodstuffs. So this is the use of glutamic acid. Now coming to the steps of production of glutamic acid by fermentation process. First one is selection of microorganism for the production of glutamic acid. Then appropriate medium, formulation of the medium which is required for the feed culture uh, or in, I mean uh, inoculum preparation as well as uh, production of glutamic acid then production process in which we have to discuss the different conditions for the fermentation process and recovery and purification. We we'll start with the first step that is the selection of microorganism. So there are different species of microorganism which can be used for the production of glutamic acid like corny bacterium species. Examples for Cornibacterium species microorganisms are Cornibacterium glutamicum, Cornibacterium lilum, then Brevibacterium species, Brevibacterium divercartum, and Brevibacterium alanicum, and Mycobacterium species like Mycobacterium clava, and Androbacter species like Androbacter globiformis and Androbacter aminofacens. Out of this, Cornibacterium glutamicus is most commonly used uh, microorganism for the production of glutamic acid and which uh, the improved strain of this corny bacterium glutamicus is used because they will give high yield and also they will tolerate high concentration of biotin and lysosine so in order to prepare the inoculum suitable strain of corny bacterium glutamicus from the stock culture is inoculated in sterile media is taken in the shake flask and we have to incubate at 35 degrees Celsius for 16 hours. So after 16 hours from this shake flask inoculum is transferred into first seal tank which consists of an volume of 1000 to 2000 liter in size and after suitable growth of inoculum which is transferred to a second tank that is 10,000 to 20 liter volume. So this is uh, as inoculum for the production tank. Usually production is carried out in uh, of 50,000 to 5 lakhs liter of uh, fermenter tank. selection of microorganisms corny bacterium glutamicus and strain in the improved strains using. Now coming to the second step that is the formulation of the media. preparation carbon nitrogen and uh, sources are mean I to use carbon sources like glucose, sucrose, fructose, maltose, sugar beet molasses, and sugar cane molasses, and starch hydrolase uh, from the corn or cassava is used as a carbon source. And uh, ammonia and ammonium sulfate is used as an inorganic compound, inorganic nitrogen sources, and phosphate and vitamins, which are necessary uh, supplement, which are usually provided with constipation. And another important uh, uh, 
growth factor which is used for the production of glutamic acid is biotin. So the concentration of biotin will influence uh, influenced usually by the carbon sources. And this is then composition of production media, uh, glucose, constituclicle, enzymatic casein hydrolysate, then hydrogen, uh, potassium hydrogen phosphate, magnesium sulfate, and urea. Now, there is a difference uh, in formulation of media for glutamic acid because usually the glutamic acid is an intracellular component. Either we sell in the product item on glutamic acid produce. So uh, the production as well as extraction of the glutamic acid from the cell is mainly depend on the cell permeability of acid producing bacteria. We sell in the glutamic acid in the extract and the produce and the main idea depend on the cell permeability. But permeability increase it can be different procedures different methods adapt like ensuring biotin deficiency in the media or treatment with fatty acid derivative ensuring oleic acid deficiency in the mutant requiring oleic acid or addition of penciling during the growth of glutamic acid bacteria use of oleic acid oxotropes or use of glycerol oxotropes or addition of surfactant these are the different methods to increase the permeability of glutamic acid which is produced intracellularly okay so uh, permeability kuri kenjal mathramana production and extraction um elappa avulo adu undu nammal idilulla edengil or methods galana use cheyarulla usually nammal aadyam paranjittulla moonu methods gal adhaayidu ensuring biotin deficiency in the medium or treatment with the fatty acid derivative or ensuring with the oleic acid deficiency this method is the same the method of permeability increase. We have to increase the cell in the end because the saturated and saturated fatty acid ratio is abnormal. Okay, then we have the permeability barrier and destroy the glutamic acid in the medium. We have to prefer the methods of ensuring biotin deficiency treatment with fatty acid and uh, ensuring oleic acid production. So, glutamic acid in the production the case, we have a biotin deficiency in the biotin. So, biotin uh, concentration should be in suboptimal level. If it is within optimal level, there will be an enhanced growth or growth luxuriant. There will be an excretion of lactic acid, not glutamic acid. So, optimum level on biotin and the lactic acid excretion on the In a higher amount on biotin and the other glutamic acid in the production fall. Okay, optimum level on the lactic acid on the higher amount on the glutamic acid in the production fall. So, after preparing the culture media, we have to sterilize the culture media in the fermenter by steam sterilization. So that is the uh, step to formulation of media. So this process is the biosynthetic pathway, glutamic acid in the biosynthetic pathway in the Krebs cycle for intermediate product. Glucose, phosphoenol, pyruvate item, oxaloacetate item, oxaloacetate item, acetylcholine combined with citrate item, isocitrate item. Isocitrate, isocitrate dehydrogenase and the enzyme in the alpod over beta glutarate item. This beta glutarate is L glutamic acid producing. Now, this process is the fermentation process. Okay. Now, coming to the step 3, that is the production process. Now, we have to sterilize the media to cool it up to cool down to 30 degrees Celsius. Cool it up to 30 degrees Prepare the inoculum in a fermenter load to proper inoculum size transfer. That is the first step in production process. And usually, this production is done in tank with the volume of 50,000 to 5 lakhs liter. And this can be performed by batch or fed batch method. Usually, fed batch method is preferable for the production of glutamic acid. And uh, after inoculating with the a proper inoculum size of the uh, glutamicus microorganism. This is incubated to 30 to 36 to 48 hours. 
uh, and pH of 7 to 8 and temperature of 30 to 35 degrees Celsius and uh, an oxygen concentration of optimum oxygen concentration. Concentration of uh, oxygen is very very uh, influential one. So, e oxygen the concentration high hour and the microorganism the growth in NTPT. Oxygen concentration low and the mingle. Instead of glutamic acid, there will be an lactic acid and succinic acid production. So, oxygen concentration optimal confirm the production process important. Okay. Now coming to the last step that is the recovery and purification. So all products in Jaina Volatan Adinamali solid and liquid in separate the rotary vacuum filter use the target filter. Further filtration and brew a came in the number of filter aid like Kiesel Gur PVC, Kiesel Gur, which is based on the diatomaceous surface. That is a filter on the lower camel engineering. If I sit down the Jaricano, about our filter use the Tana number is in the filtration in brew in the other garden filter is in the extract here, extract here and end of the third ground like chromatographic method, ion exchange resins will use here or concentration by recrystallization method. So, recrystallization method, like crystallization method, we have three methods. First one is by pH, by changing the pH at, uh, change by the pH of, uh, pH at the isoelectric point. If amino acids are in the uh, acidic group, um, basic group, then we have two charges. If you have a pH, you have a charge in the charge in the isoelectric point. If you have a pH, you have a charge in the same way. Precipitated out and crystallized. Or we can crystallize by lowering the temperature or by precipitation with different salts like ammonia or calcium salt or with the metal like zinc. Metals use either to ammonia, calcium salt to use either to precipitate either to now crystallize the amount. And another method is ion exchange resin for extraction of glutamic acid. So, this method is used in amino acid in the purification of the use of the extraction and purification of amino acid in the use of the method and ion exchange resin. This ion exchange resin is the most important part of the use of the ion exchange resin. They are strongly affected by pH of the solution. pH change in the use of the presence of contaminants or pH change in the use of the use of the use of the use of the amino acid ion exchange resin is the use of the use of the use of the use. So for the ion exchange resin we can use different types of ion exchanges, cationic ion exchange or anionic exchanges. Cationic exchange resin will bind with the positively charged amino acid and anionic exchange resin will bind with the negatively charged amino acid. And usually, usually Anionic exchange resins are generally lower in their change, exchange capacity and durability than the cationic resins. So uh, we will seldom use in uh, industrial separation. The anionic exchange resin and cationic exchange resins will compare in the same way. Anionic exchange resin the capacity, exchange capacity, but in the durability, cationic exchange resins will be poorly used. Anionic exchange resin. So that is all about the different steps of uh, production of glutamic acid. So this is a flow chart of uh, production of glutamic acid. First we have to dissolve uh, nutrients in dissolving tank. Then we have to sterilize. Then buffer. Then we have to uh, transfer this nutrient to fermenter with the help of ammonia and as well as uh, inoculum. Then after that, we have to separate the cell by different vacuum filters. Then ion exchange receive, then we loot it in sodium hydroxide, then anionic exchanges, then evaporation and crystallization to get L glutamic acid. Now, what are the uses of glutamic acid? So, as we know, glutamic acid is very, very important in brain metabolism. So, these are used in rare areas neuropathic diseases. And also, uh, glutamic acid in the form of monosodium glutamate is used as a flavor enhancing agent both in food industry as well as general public. And polyglutamic acid which is a naturally occurring anionic polymer that is biodegradable and edible and non toxic towards human and environment. And there are some uh, industrial applications for glutamic acid. Like these are used as a thickening agent, bitterness relieving agent and cryoprotectant. 
and this is also used as a curable biotic uh, biological adhesive and also used uh, as an heavy metal absorbers and also used in cosmetics uh, widely used in uh, hair restore in cosmetics uh, for the treatment of hair loss and also in winter to prevent aging so these are the different uses of glutamic acid for your topic le nammal endana glutamic acid endana glutamic acid in the fermentation process illa naal steps gale selection of microorganism formulation of culture media production process and recovery and finally the uses of glutamic acid with three things we have discussed okay it is clear thank you